Good morning, good afternoon, good night guys. We are back on another cruise vlog. It's our last day of Adventure of the Seas. So sad, but it's been such a wonderful time. A big shout out to all of you guys who have been watching and liking. I sincerely appreciate you. But today, we are back at the Bahamas. Now there are some excursions here. However, it's kind of interesting because we were just out of port right now. But there is a free port harbor, which you're gonna check out. There's some live music, some games, entertainment, drinks. I don't think I'm gonna be drinking too much today because it's just the last day I'm gonna chill. But it's been such a good time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. Let's get going. So we are about to go off the ship. However, there is COVID testing today. If you didn't hear me in the last vlog, basically they have complimentary testing on the cruise, which is really nice because you do need to take a COVID test before we travel away from the Bahamas. So instead of going to the airport and paying for one, they have them right here. We had to make a scheduled appointment for it. However, they have uh, extra room and space right now. So we're gonna do that and then go outside. Okay, so I got my little tube, which is gonna have my results in it, entrance. This is normally where we eat, but right now they turned it into a uh, COVID testing area. And I'm going to left. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Right over here. Okay, just got out. Literally, that one was less invasive than the one I did coming into the Bahamas. Where it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it was actually really quick. But they didn't want you to record in there, you know, for other people's privacy. So yeah, that's it. Love it. Thank you, Royal, for uh, that complimentary test. Welcome to Freeport Harbor, Grand Bahama Island. So there's obviously a lot of small shops here. Burger Boy and Grill, Jerk Pork and Jerk Chicken. Probably pretty good, honestly. Island Jeep, taxis to your right. Sweet Licks ice cream. Hmm. Some of these stores are not open right now, as you see as well, though. Funny enough, they do have another Senior Frogs here, but I'm not gonna lie, this one doesn't seem as lit as it was in Mexico. It's definitely a different vibe being here compared to Mexico. Mexico, it was kind of crazy. Everyone was like, whoa, hey, hey, here. Seems a lot more chill, relaxed, which is nice. Bohemian souvenirs, red flag sale. Far East traders lending gifts and souvenirs. Huh. Yeah, okay. Do not stand or lean on anchor. <laughs> Why does that make me want to do it? I'm not going to, but that's funny. Look at that anchor. Here's a little bit of the harbor. My Ninja Ann. Interesting, Freeport Harbor Company. Wow. Now they do have physical distancing signage in place for people when they're getting picked up to go on the excursions right over here and going on their tours. We decided not to do any today. More small pop-up shops right over here. T-shirts, dresses, hats, all pertaining to the Bahamas. Very cool. Arts crafts. Wow. Oh. It's chill. It's chill. Disney follows us wherever we go. It's Minnie, Anna, and Elsa. Peppa the Pig, Ariel. Dora, Elmo. <laughs> Look at this, Anna, Elsa. <laughs> they are having a full on party over here. That marching band's kind of killing it. Kyle's dancing it up a little bit, having a good time. They have like, I don't know, a little event happening, there's food, it's pretty cool. I believe this is just a celebration because things are slowly starting to get back to normal and you know, we're one of the first group of tourists coming back here, so that's exciting. Well, this was a cool little port. We could have seen dolphins today, we could have gone to our private beach, but again, we're just going to be chilling, vibing on the cruise because we love it so much. I see someone all the way up there, do they see me? Hello? Oh, they don't say hi back. So we are now signing up for something I haven't done in a long time. We are ice skating on the cruise. They're doing three different groups, 15 per people. This is the same ice skating rink where we watched the show last night. I'm excited. My mom and dad actually used to skate in Canada all the time. So it's interesting to be back. I haven't skated since I was like seven. Didn't really like it. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah. We're all going to be ice skating right now. Well, actually at 2.15, there's different groups times. We are yellow, 
be back at 2.15, so in about two hours. This is the fifth floor of the promenade. We've had a lot of fun times on here, stores, drinks, and you can get ice cream and coffee right over here. So we're gonna do that right now. Ben and Jerry's has a ton of different flavors and they have a little Starbucks right here. And because I have the drinking package, I can get this you know, comped basically. With this being my last day on my first cruise ever, I wanna give you guys my opinion on things that I like and things I was like, eh, I'm not too big of a fan on. So we'll start with that for the rest of the video. First thing I like is the promenade. This place was wonderful. All the different food and drinks and entertainment, literally bars everywhere. I would just walk down here during the day and run into so many friends. Even though it was only at a 35% capacity, this place felt so alive. I can't even imagine it at 100%. Now, one thing I wasn't a fan of was the rocking. I definitely felt it multiple times during the cruise, but hey, a cruise ship is a cruise ship. That kind of comes with it. I just wasn't used to it. One night, I almost got seasick. I was editing around like 2 a.m. and I was sitting at my desk and I really felt it moving back and forth. But sometimes I actually did enjoy it. Like, it kind of was just like a fun little joyride. But that's something I definitely was like, took some time to get used to for sure. One thing I do love is the deck attendants, basically the guest services who come in and clean our room. They have done such an amazing job. Every time we leave, they were so quick. I'd never see them. We see them in the hallways, super nice. However, when it comes to cleaning, they're in and out so quick. Kyle and I would literally leave the room for like 20 minutes, come back, our beds were made. They even hang our shirts, which is super nice of them. I, I, great service. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. It's also nice because they would leave information for us on the bed every single day. So even if we didn't look at the app, we could see these papers. Right now, there's um, passenger disclosures, things to basically prepare us for leaving. And if we want to tip, which I definitely think we will be, we can put some extra cash in there, which is nice. Super crazy. The beds are still nice. Ah, I love this. And like this room actually was really nice. I was worried it was going to be a little small, but... We made the best of it. For two guys, it was lovely. We had this nice view of all the different places we traveled to. It was awesome. Waking up and going outside every morning was great. So definitely another plus for me was the whole deck services here. Now we need pants to go ice skating. So I'm actually using my formal pants from yesterday. Another thing I liked about this cruise is all the activities provided on the ship alone. I actually had so much fun just hanging out with my friends, going on the flow rider, or about to ice skate, just enjoying the movies, the bars. There's a lot of things to do on the ship. The entertainment, I had, I've had the most fun other than Coco K on the cruise ship for sure. So we do have yeah, to yeah. sign a waiver yes. before we begin. Take a new fan. Thank you. And here you have your last name, first name, initials in every box. Here, date. Your name and signature, please. Perfect, thank you. And give it to my colleagues. Once you're done filling out all those forms, they... <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> awesome, let's do this. Thank you so much. Okay, here's the ice skating rink. We saw some great shows on it, and now we're gonna get to go on it for ourselves. They have all the equipment down here. You just give your shoe size, and then they help you out. Kyle's uh, putting on his helmet right now. <laughs> We are with all of our vlogger friends hanging. We're all gonna be ice skating. Hello. <laughs> you excited? Um, yeah. 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 Okay. I got my helmet and ice skates on. Uh, Kyle is uh, waddling on over. I'm gonna record him. Uh, no cameras on the ice rink. So we'll see. You. This is the vlogger session. No. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, I have an ice You look skate. great. I'm. I, uh, how do you ice skate, Kyle? Go. Give me it, give me it, give me it. Here, I'll push you. Look, you <laughs> this is, I, I never liked ice skating. Hey, do you have any tips for ice skating? Bend your knees, oh. Okay. Wait, also, shout yourself out. She has a YouTube channel. Switch it on over a second. Hi, I'm Jordan. <laughs> there we go. Jordan uh, lives on this cruise and has a cool vlog. Uh, Welcome to the real show. All the vloggers try to ice skate. Kyle's actually doing really well. Everyone's actually doing really well right now, except for me. I think I'm just tired, a little nervous. I don't know, like, I can do some stuff. Oh, I don't want to turn. Oh God, I turned, there we go. Kyle, yes. you're doing good. You guys are doing great. Woo! So are you, Jojo. I don't know, I'm not doing it. So are you. I'm getting there, I'm you getting there. Fun. At least I'm standing, and I'll take that as a W for today. Slow and standing wins, oh, right? What you got? What you got? 
Great, right here. Nice, lovely, lovely. Kyle is just enjoying the ice drink to himself. All the other vloggers are like, okay, we're good, we're done. And here's Kyle, just pushing his luck. Hey Kyle, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for today. That was a lovely experience. I definitely recommend anyone to try it out. It was good. I mean, I enjoyed it. Kyle really enjoyed it. Did you guys enjoy it? Yeah. Y'all killed it. Y'all, yeah. everyone was killing it. <laughs> yeah, come on, yeah. <laughs> and again, we really enjoyed the ice show. Saw it twice, three times technically. So definitely if you're ever on this cruise, come check it out. They do a wonderful job. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank, thank you for coming. You. Now we're going to check out the rock climbing. And then another thing I like, but also dislike about the cruise is that I like that there's not too many people so we can experience this thing and not have to wait and just really get a yeah. full experience. But at the same time, I don't like the fact that we are at about 25, 35% capacity right now because there's less people and I'm a social butterfly and I like meeting a lot of different people. Ah, thanks. Now we are back at the sports deck. Oh, hello. <laughs> and we're gonna check out the rock climbing wall. I might not do much because I hurt my hand recently, but I'll still try. Looking good. You? Ooh, ooh. I, I've never done rock climbing before, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try my best. I like that. I oh, like chalk? You're gonna put chalk on? Dog? What? Look at me. Oh man, this is gonna be. Oh, you can get chalk. There you go. Okay, I'm actually really happy I was able to do that. I'm proud of myself, I pushed through. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do it, but I did. That was a lot of fun. Very scary, but I'm glad I did it. We have a huge vlogger meetup right now. Look at this. Very cool. I like how the community comes together. It's super, super fresh. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so we took a nap. <laughs> Ice skating and rock climbing apparently makes you tired. Now it's time for our final dinner. Kind of sad about it. it's crazy how it's already been a full week. That's another thing I actually really enjoyed about this cruise is the dining, being able to sit down, make new friends, and try some new food, including that escargot. What is up? Yoga and the squad, what is up, guys? Uh, we we went up the wrong floor. We went, we we went up the yeah, deck. Uh -huh. We went, like, <laughs> we, up we, we went up one deck, yeah. And we were like, why did they change it? What's going on? Even though nothing's changed. We walk all the way. We walk over there. What's going on? We were just confused. We just stood out there for a second. For appetizer, coconut trip, and a Corona. This is our first drink of the day, actually. We really had to take a break. How's that? <laughs> Hitting that up? Yep. Let's get going. Let's do it. <laughs> Prime rib for dinner. Looking good. Big shout out to our waiter and assistant waiter. You guys were amazing. As our first waiters on a cruise, you did phenomenal. We couldn't ask you for anything else. Shout out to both of you so much. We appreciate you. Gonna miss you guys. Ah, we'll miss you too. They were wonderful. We're gonna give them great reviews. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. I have eaten so well on this cruise. And it's gonna be so hard just coming home to nothing and me having to prepare my meals and man I can see the hype behind the cruises now. For our last night we're gonna try to get a drink at every bar we've been to because we're leaving so we want to you know commemorate the great places. We're starting at the duck and dog. Had to get a Long Island iced tea. Haven't seen a performance out here like this before but she's killing it. We are now at the Schooler Bar, one of my favorite bars on property. We got some live ent entertainment starting soon over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, Kyle, what did you get us? 
Uh, I don't know. You just said it's like a rum Long Island. Rum Long Island. The step into my groove, oh, Yeah, if you said this life ain't good enough, I would give my world to lift you up. I could change my life to better see your groove. Under the moon And it's the same as the emotion That I get from you You got the kind of loving That could be so smooth Yeah, give me your heart Make it real Almost forget about it Yeah Woo! I'm gonna miss this right here I'm gonna miss this Next bar is in the casino You know, one thing we haven't done at all This whole trip Is play in the casino Maybe we'll do that today Maybe I don't gamble Kyle doesn't gamble because he lost so much money in Las Vegas. I lost $40. <laughs> so much. So much. Okay, here is our next drink. Yo, do, do a swipe for the, for the vlog. After. I actually got restricted last time. How? I don't know. I did it too many times or something. <laughs> That's a casino. They wouldn't do that to you. I don't know. Anyway, we're taking... What are we doing, Kyle? We're not you ordered it. I don't know. We're taking a tequila shot of a chaser of cranberry. I'm going over tomorrow. Cheers. All right. That's... Well, hold on. That's, that's cranberry. Get you a drink. Oh, this is the shit. He was about to take a shot of cranberry juice. Oh, this is the chaser. Yes. Oh, so God. sip of this, then pull it, and then... Why'd you smell it? This is the first... Oh, <laughs> I smell it. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. It's only gonna... Okay. Okay, okay. Patron. Cheers. Cheers. Cranberry helps though. Talk a little bit. We are taking another shot with, you've seen him before, but if they what haven't, shout yourself out again. Hey, my name is Spencer, but Jojo and Kyle, these are the guys right here. <laughs> what can I say? There you go. All right, this one's not gonna be on camera because this one's gonna be really rough, but we'll see you after. <laughs> Check the side, am I good? <laughs> this way? Uh, back that way. All right. Seven seconds. Oh, that way more. Here you go, try that one. All right. A hundred dollars is mine. Is that it? No, but it actually looked pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It would only cost a dollar. One dollar on credit to play. We tried. That's my gambling for tonight. Okay, so this is our second shot at the casino bar. I don't know if we're going to make it around all the bars tonight, but we're going to try our Hopefully best. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Okay, I'm chasing. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. For the last night. All right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> we did it. Okay. By the way, if you're not the age of 21 or above, you're not allowed to drink. 18. I'm just saying. Well, actually, yeah. In the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. In the Bahamas <laughs> on this cruise. It's 18 plus here. Jojo is cashing out $25 okay, so profit. Wow, down, he's I put, amazing. I put down $50 on roulette. I, I, put, I put 25 on black and I won. So I got these chips. This is the, <laughs> the first time I ever bet Drink. before. Drink. 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 Okay, so I won. I technically won about $22 because there was a $3. What, why are you putting the glass? This is funny. Everyone's going to love this. <laughs> I won about $22. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I have the coke. Ooh. Jojo collecting his $25 winnings. What a man, everybody. Comment down below. What a man. We made it back to our original bar. We definitely did not drink all of the bars, but we ran into all of our vlogger friends. Just ending the night. Ending the night. You Kieran for have amazing entertainment the whole weekend. Yeah! 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 
Such a great cruise experience. I don't know why I get emotional. I hate it. I hate goodbyes. I literally hate, that's why I can never leave Sienna's Disney World. Great. That's why. We've had such a good first cruise experience. Everyone has been such a wonderful time. I'm not gonna cry. I'm so weird. I have been drinking though, so that's probably why I can be a little more emotional, but it's been such a good time. Everyone has been so nice and welcoming from the crew members, from the entertainment cast members, from the guests along with us, the YouTube people. Everyone has been so wonderful. And, um, you know, <laughs> Kyle's been great too. And if, and if I do have to say one thing I've liked the most about this whole cruise is that the experience of being able to meet so many different people that I would have never met. This man is purposely squeaking his freaking shoes right now. I would never do that. Anyway guys, seriously, thank you so much to my YouTube members, my Patreon, Michael, thank you so much for sponsoring this. And I really hope that we can do another cruise very soon. We plan on it. You guys have been so supportive on the channel. Thank you so okay. much. All right guys, with all that oh, being yeah, said. Bad. Oh my God. Why? I'm very great. <laughs> With all that being said, guys, remember every day is a blessed day to be alive. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. We appreciate y'all so much. Bye. Kyle, Kyle's drunk. I <laughs> love y'all. Haha, -ha, you thought I ended the vlog. No. <laughs> <laughs> I actually might do that now, too, because my ending's so bad. Yeah, yeah. He, Kyle redid his like three times. I really like the first ending. That one was fun. Anyway. As we're leaving, check this out. They give us this cool little almost certificate saying, Welcome back to the Adventure 2021. Thank you for being among the first guests to set sail with us again. Adventure of the Seas, Jonathan Crin. And it's signed by the captain and the hotel director. Love that. We are one of the last people on this cruise before the next group of people come on for their adventure. And it's been a fun time. Something I dislike about cruises is leaving. Normally, I don't get to feel this feeling because I'm always in Disney World, and it's like, even though we say goodbye and see you real soon, we literally live down the street, but we're getting off this cruise, you know? We actually made so many cool friends through the, the crew and the people that we were living with for the last week. It's nuts that we're headed home. It's, it's been fun, though. I'm really sad. Kyle is actually more sad than me. He had a really good time. <laughs> it's okay, bud. We'll be back soon. Goodbye, seventh floor. It's been fun. Thank you so much. Bye, it is Saturday, the day to go look. Saturday, Kyle. It changed. I know I don't like that. <laughs> Adventure of the seas. It's been fun. See you next time. This cruise was only at 35%. However, we still met so many amazing people. Man, I definitely don't want to leave, but all good things have to come to an end. Y'all know that if you're going on vacation. We're feeling that today, everyone. Something I definitely did not really enjoy about this cruise. It's not really royal, it's just the safety precautions. I feel like every corner we learn something new that we have to do. And now we're in this big line to uh, get our boarding passes because we have to show our COVID, our negative COVID test, which we have. And there's just the big line. Granted, we're here early, our flight's at three. We're here at like 10, 45, 11, so we'll be good. Update, this line is for checking bags. So there's another line when you're not checking bags. It's a good thing we talked to someone because we had no idea. We are now getting our boarding pass once we prove that we are COVID free. Like I said yesterday, it was nice of Royal to provide free COVID testing because they do have a COVID testing center here, but this is not complimentary and there is a little bit of a line. Now Kyle and I are just waiting here, editing our videos. We'll be going on a four o'clock flight. It's only 1130, so we're gonna be here for a long time. We'll get some work done. Another thing I did enjoy about this cruise is that we've been running into so many people who are leaving and we have to say goodbye to one of our favorites. It's been, Namaste, adios. It's been a pleasure. It's out. been a pleasure. Hey, maybe one day I'll see you on another cruise, yeah? One day we'll do it. Yeah. In another life. <laughs> Last hurrah. Did you have a fun time? I had a blast. It was amazing. I'll definitely be back on Royal. If hey. not Royal, at least another. There you go. Okay, okay so sure. what was like one of the funnest things you did on the cruise? Uh, you did a lot of fun stuff. I know you did. I did a water park, but the honestly, I, I had a really good time at the, it was like a tequila 
chocolate and honey tour. I should have done that. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. So, anyways, I think um, I think I showed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming back yeah, up, yeah. I got that little uh, Mayan knife. It's obsidian knife. Obsidian it was knife. really cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the water park, just the ship in general. I, yeah. I had a really good time. Everyone was super friendly. It was, it was a good, good vibe. Yeah, it was. Would you recommend someone else to go on a cruise? Yes, ten out of ten. All right, cool. Definitely. You good feel like you, man. you literally feel royal. <laughs> I see what you did there, man. Good seeing you. Yeah, absolutely. At three twenty-two, we're about to board. Headed back to Orlando. Well, technically Miami, but then Orlando. minutes to spare we are making it onto the airplane we did it we did it and we we're in the exit row so we actually have a lot of leg room like almost too much but yeah there we go and just like that we are back in our home we're back in orlando and it's uh, cloudy skies it's a great way of getting back but honestly it's been such a wonderful trip this cruise was wonderful. Everything was wonderful about it. I'm gonna go home now and we're gonna do a little recap on the whole week. Kyle, 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 are you excited? Are now closing. Yeah, we're going to rush. Disney World. Oh, yeah, we're going to Disney. <laughs> okay, everyone. So I have made it back home safe and sound back in Orlando, Florida. I just wanted to say again, thank you so much for watching these cruise vlogs. I was nervous. I, you know, it wasn't Disney, but you guys have proven to me that I can travel and make more of these kind of videos. So thank you again. As a first time cruiser, what did I enjoy? Basically everything. I love the food, the people, the adventure, the experience. There was a lot to grasp and I definitely didn't grasp everything yet. However, Royal was amazing. Everyone was just so kind. As a first time cruiser and traveler to go outside of the States, I definitely didn't like getting there. It was a little tough. There was a lot I didn't understand. So I would definitely recommend uh, doing a little more research. I didn't do much, honestly. I could have done that a little bit better. Once I made it onto the cruise, however, it was smooth sailing. <laughs> See what I did there? Now this is me just picking. If there's one thing I didn't really enjoy or wish could have been different is the socialization. Uh, there wasn't too many people on the cruise. However, every single person I met was amazing. So at the end of the day, at first it was like, I was a little upset about it, but by the end I realized I didn't need anyone else because I had so many cool friends. I wish we could have talked and hung out with the actual crew members and entertainment team because we actually made friends on there. However, we couldn't this time around due to the safety of COVID, which I totally understand and respect. Everyone should stay safe. Speaking about safety, no one had COVID on our cruise. It just got reported the other day. There were zero cases reported on our cruise, both staff and guests. So congratulations on that, Royal. This is great. This was a test cruise technically. So this is only gonna pave the way for more successful trips. I guess the one thing I could say that I didn't like, and this is on me, it's no one's fault, is I wish I did more um, excursions. My friend went on a honey and tequila tasting excursion. Some of my friends went on ATV riding excursions. One of my friends went scuba diving in the ocean in Mexico. So there's a lot of things I definitely didn't get to do. But that's totally okay because I am definitely coming back on more cruises and I'll be more knowledgeable for the next time. This would have been a perfect cruise for me if I would have met the love of my life. I'm joking, by the way. That's a joke. That is a joke. I actually had such a good time and I wouldn't want to change anything else other than the traveling to and leaving. I was very scared that we we're going to miss our second plane coming to Orlando, but everything worked out and we had a wonderful amazing time this was definitely one of my best vacations ever hand down this gets a solid 95 out of 100 for me royal did such a good job everyone was amazing i know i keep saying that but it truly was the people that made this trip so wonderful for me the youtubers the cast the crew the guests thank you guys so much 
a huge shout out to Michael, my YouTube members, my Patreon, the people who have been watching my videos, liking, commenting. You guys are the reason why I can do this full time on YouTube. I'm specifically shouting out Courtney on my Patreon. Thank you so much for recently joining. And to all of my Patreon members, I have a lot of messages to get to. I'll be messaging you soon, so make sure you go uh, check it out and uh, message me if you haven't in a while. And if anyone ever wants to join a Patreon or be a YouTube member to support my uh, career here on YouTube, uh, down below, I really appreciate it regardless. I appreciate you just being here. Enough talking though. First cruise experience was amazing, 10 out of 10. I will definitely be doing another one very soon. Guys, thank you so much for keeping up with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And next stop is Disney World. There's a lot of updates to cover and a lot of things have changed. I'm sure you know by now. So I'm really, really, really excited. It's weird. It's, it's like sad that I'm ending this cool little week of cruises. I can't wait to do more. Every day is a blessed day to be alive and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so, 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 so very much. Peace.